Good day folks. Today I want to introduce you to our new Overlander 574 bunk version. The unit is specifically designed for families using the original sandwich panel construction body giving you maximum insulation for those hot and cold conditions. We've also made the unit more compact by removing the front box and a few innovations along the way. We'll get to those later. In terms of the chassis it's the same ladder frame chassis fully galvanized and made of graded steel so super tough for those off-road conditions. The unit comes standard with alloy rims and Goodyear Wrangler tires. Mounted behind the axle underneath is a 100 litre water tank that can be expanded to 200 litres with an additional tank in front of the axle. Let's go inside. That's where the main changes have taken place. Two bunk beds. Easy to fold the one top bunk down to make a dinette area. And there's a small table that fits in between. On the left hand side is a full size double bed. There are cupboards on the left hand side and right hand side of the bed. The right hand side cupboard can be converted for the installation of a air conditioning condenser unit. There are two reading lights with USBs mounted on the headboard above the bed. As you can see there's plenty of windows on the RVS. We can talk about the details of how those windows work later. Here at the back you've got a full size cupboard for mom and dad. Then on the end of the bunks you've got this additional cupboard space for the children. So here you can see a close up detail of the reading light with USB. Let's just talk about how those windows work. Here you can see it's fully open. Fly mesh and the solid panel have been opened for maximum airflow. If the midges are bothering you then just zip up the fly sheet. On the front we have a few special features for securing your gas bottle and jerry cans. Here we can see how you open the front panel to access the jerry can and the gas bottle. And when you close the front panel, you can secure the top uh, latch over the jerry can and the bottom latch with a padlock to prevent them from being stolen. This unit comes standard with a quick up shower on the off side of the van. A unique feature of this is that it has a built in shower tray. The unit also comes standard with a gas geyser, which is quickly coupled. Look at it here. You can see how quick it is to install. Two quick couplers and then you're ready to go. When traveling the unit stows in the front hatch. Now let's talk about the uh, fridge slide and the gas stove. Here you've got a large tray. You can take a 92 liter low profile Snowmaster fridge. Let's look at the gas stove. Quite simple. Take off the bungee cord, open two wind flaps, lower the stove and lock it in position. One, two, three. Very quick. Easy to set up. Everything about this van is made for convenience. This unit comes with a full switch panel, battery monitor and a 120 amp hour lithium battery. No AGM batteries here. Moving around the offside, you've got this huge, massive boot space. It's going to be difficult to fill this, but you've got plenty of space for the deck chairs, briars, and all that other paraphernalia that you normally take camping that you don't need. So folks, that's a summary of the differences on the 574 bunk version Overlander. For more standard features on Overlanders, check out our detailed video of the uh, Overlander 634 ensuite. It gives full details of all the standard options on the Overlander versions. Also check out our other videos of the test conditions that we tested these Overlanders in. They certainly made for off-road conditions. As we say it's stealth, it's comfort that follows you. And now we say it's comfort that follows you everywhere. Then get down to your dealer. To see the Overlander in person you'll be certainly suitably impressed.